Hi guys, I'm Nick, and today I'm speaking to you alongside Stephen and John about Are You OK Day, which is on Thursday the 9th of September. Are You OK is a charity that encourages people to stay connected and have conversations that can help others through difficult times. This year, the message is, are they really OK? Ask them today. We really want you to consider how your friends and family are really going and to help others around you feel connected, supported and better about themselves, whether they're struggling with something big or small. With social media, we may either feel really connected or left out, so you never know what's going on in someone's life until you ask the question. So on Are You OK Day, we're strongly encouraging you to do three simple things to show your support. One. Wear something yellow throughout the day and share a picture of you to support connection. 2. Apply one of the Are You OK virtual backgrounds in your online class meetings and put up an Are You OK poster in your driveway to show others your support of Are You OK and mental health. And 3. Reach out to a friend or family member who you haven't spoken to in a while. The last 18 months have been really difficult and many of us have been feeling uncertain about the future feeling frustrated with remote learning, sad about missing big events, and coping with changing relationships. It's normal for you to feel this way. Most of us do. Your own well-being and mental health is most important, and we encourage you to call the Kids Helpline, look at the Reach Out website, speak to one of our test counsellors, or anybody you trust. Most young people turn to their friends first, so it's important that we check in and we're ready for a conversation, to build a rapport and trust. I like to FaceTime my friends during my breaks to see how they're going. If a friend does tell us that they're not okay, we're not expected to fix their problems. But we can listen without judging and help connect them to professional support like a trusted teacher, coach or family member. We're going to tell you how you can spot the signs that can indicate a friend might need support. You might notice that they withdraw from communicating with their friends or family or lash out and get easily upset, crying or becoming emotional. You may recognise small changes. Perhaps they seem tired or sleep at strange hours, lose interest in activities they usually love, change their appearance or eat more or less than usual. The most important thing is to trust your gut. If you notice a change or just feel that something's not quite right with your mate, make sure you're in a good headspace first and in a comfortable position with them and take the time to ask, are you okay? I make sure to call my friends whenever we communicate as I can feel more connected and pick up on things that might not come over through text. I usually ask, are you good? Because it gives them the ability to talk rather than getting defensive when I ask, how are you feeling? Here's some examples. Hey Stephen, I've noticed you look a bit more tired lately. You good? Thanks for asking, Nick. I've actually been really stressed from online exams and I'm feeling kind of lost. I totally understand how you feel, Stephen. And I'm always here for you. Let's talk. Hey John, I haven't heard from you in a while. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm alright. Only alright? Why not great? I guess it's because of the lockdown. I'm just really disappointed and angry that I can't meet up with my mates or go to Queensland on the holidays. I'm sorry to hear about that, mate. Let's have a conversation. So tomorrow, we'd love to see everyone wear something yellow throughout the day and share a picture. Apply an Are You OK virtual wallpaper during your video conference meetings and create an Are You OK poster for the driveway. And most importantly, reach out to a friend or family member who you haven't heard from in a while. This way we can be proactive in advocating for Are You OK Day. A conversation can change a life. Now the ball's in your court.